Big dog. <laughs> Big dog. We're pod and hitting the pod. Hitting the pod. Doing the pod. And then you know what we're not doing again next week? <laughs> hitting the, the pod. pod. We ain't doing shit next week. We don't work anymore. <laughs> We've hit that point in the pod. <laughs> we don't even pod anymore. We don't need to pod. Yes, we do. Not so. Here we go. There's money no talks. money coming in. I uh, for sure hit the wrong button. It's uh, that's my, no, I, made, my I mean it makes sense. Confidence. This These are my friends. <laughs> this is my inner circle. We are the inner circle, baby. You are now listening to the I, Inner I Circle the Podcast Network. And uh I had the time of my life. I finally took the plunge. You know what? Feels great. What's up, guys? Welcome to The Plunge. Today is a day. Joining me, as always, my lovely husband, Riley T. Say what's up, dude. Yo. Yo. Welcome back from your vacation. Thank you. I'm going on another one immediately in the morning. That is... My boss was quite surprised. I put the time in. He's like, yeah, I know about this. I went, "Mm -hmm." (laughs) mm-hmm. I put Mm -hmm. the time in. Yeah. Yeah, I'm flying. Flying again. A much right. worse flight tomorrow. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I flew to Truly. Florida last time. Went on a cruise. I was a cruising boy. You were. I was a cruising. I was a cruising boy. I'm actually upset about you, a, a facet of your cruise. Uh, you're very happy about another facet of my cruise, and we'll get into that. This is true. You know why we'll get into it? Because we're <laughs> your fourth your favorite fourth host on the East Coast. The number one hockey podcast south of the border? Oh, I thought we were switching. Oh, I have like four minutes to eat now. Go ahead. Uh, The number one hockey podcast south of the border. The number one religious equestrian podcast north of the Mason-Dixon line. Number one cumulonimbus podcast south of the stratosphere. The number one wheel podcast that's in the spin zone. The number one just shimp podcast. The number one gay marriage podcast east of the Mississippi. And the number one Doppler effect podcast that's over here. That's oh. it. That's all I'm doing today. It's in the trees. <laughs> it is in the trees. <laughs> Cruise was fun. Had a beautiful time. Did not get engaged. Um, <laughs> to the surprise of everyone I've met and talked to, ever came across in my life. <laughs> um, did not get engaged. I don't like cruises for engagements. Uh, Why bro- not? You don't want to get engaged on international waters? My brother did it, so I was like, all right, I can't do that. And I've, I've, I've been pretty adamant. Brother? Mikey did it. He proposed with a dolphin in Mexico. That's crazy. On one of our cruises. And I went, okay, done. Did the dolphin shoot the ring out of its blowhole? You no, know, he brought it in like a, a buoy or something. That's kind of cool, though. Um, so I went, cool, cruise proposal out, not doing it. Um, the only <laughs> issue is I didn't think this part through. Clear. Lauren's parents don't live around here. This is true. They wanted to go on the cruise. Lauren doesn't get to go on, like, hang out with her family. I went, awesome. The more the merrier. What a wonderful idea. We can all <laughs> go have fun. Lauren and my parents went. Now, apparently, without I, to, not to my knowledge, everyone I've ever met went, oh, both parents? <laughs> okay. Engagement. All right, yeah. Now I'm not getting. I told everyone too. I told Lauren beforehand. I was like, "Hey, just so you know, no, it's not it's happening. Not happening. I don't, I don't like cruises. I want whatever our thing to be. A, son of a bitch. Like I want whatever our thing is to be something special. And I don't like cruise proposals. And so that's it's out. I said I'm you. I'm not doing it here. She went in knowing. She was the only one who went into this cruise knowing. <laughs> Everyone else is like, it's gonna happen. Yeah, I came back. Everyone at work was like, 
are you engaged now? And I was like, no. Like what? No, I'm not. They gave you that idea. All my relatives? You do? Did you do it? No. <laughs> did I do what? <laughs> you know what I did do? I had a great time with my parents, my lovely girlfriend, and her parents. We had a great time. Uh, her parents did get to enjoy the the comedy event itself that is just being around Mike and Sue. It's true. They're the funny. I, they're not funny, but they're the funniest people. You'll ever well, meet. Your, it's because your parents are good people. They're comedy. Comedy. They're comedy. Hey. <laughs> they're just comedy. They do the funniest shit. <laughs> As any parent with a funny kid would. They they do the wildest shit. <laughs> <laughs> Big Mike. Just, just Big Mike all the time. He's 100% authentically Big Mike. <laughs> you it, That's something that you can't turn off. No. <laughs> Never. And Lauren's parents are very chill, laid back, <laughs> and they got a dose of some Big Mike. And then I, we were on FaceTime with them the other night, and they're like, I miss your parents. And I was like, yeah, listen, it's a lot, but then you get away. You're like, boy, I missed, <laughs> missed the dog days of Big Mike. <laughs> I miss the dog. Yeah, you got to miss the dog. I miss seeing Big Mike get his nipples rubbed. <laughs> He's told me I'm not allowed to talk about that. <laughs> I didn't know. Hey, I wasn't told about that. I will not reference it again. <laughs> this episode so far has been a train wreck, by the way. Mm-mm. Yeah, we were going to record in person, and then uh, you had to drive Will home. <laughs> yeah, me and Will had a nice talk on the way home. That's good. I love Will. Yeah, that's good. I love Will, too. Um, We'll get to what we were doing with Will. Uh, cruise was very fun. I drank a lot. I did have a revelation. Uh, I'm fat again, but not like medium. I'm just fat. I'm not medium fat. I'm just fat again. So uh, I've eaten healthy all week. I bought a treadmill. Uh, I thought I was buying you a treadmill. Oh, you were actually going to do that? No, but <laughs> you kept telling me buy me stuff. Yeah, that's true. I bought a treadmill. It's actually in my stairwell right now because I I can't get it downstairs. Can you, turn, by can you show me on the camera? No, it's not. It's it, it's in the it's middle part. In frame. Yeah. Uh, Need someone to help me to get the corner. Uh, the AKA, women. I'm probably gonna come over. Corey will be here in the morning. So that's fair. Yeah. I saw Corey at work. That's nice. He was shocked. He's like, "Can you believe I saw Hunter? I like, you went to his place of employment. I can believe that. It's wildly believable. It still it could not be like, more believable." <laughs> he's like, "What are you doing here?" I was like, "I'm at work." He's like, "What do you do?" <laughs> I was like, "Huh?" I was like, "I'm, I'm the pharmacist here." He's probably like, "Nice, nice." Yeah. Um. And then he said the company that he worked for that I almost just said out loud. <laughs> He skydives. It's fine. Oh, the other one? The other one. Was yeah. he at work? Yeah. Oh, he was working? Yeah. Oh, does he do it with, like, there. tuba does? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. That's yeah, funny. I was, that's why I was confused. I was like, what are you doing here? You, you're, I imagine not visiting your parents because it's 9.05 a.m. Yeah, on, like, a Tuesday. Yeah. No, it was Monday. That's incredible. Yeah, incredible. Okay, I didn't know he did that. I thought he was, like, a warehouse guy there. No. <laughs> All right. Uh, but yeah, cruise was very fun. We have, there's some good things. There's some bad things. Um, in general, Norwegian, I probably won't cruise with them again. They do okay. have the best alcohol package. That's what's it's up. just unlimited? unlimited. It's just unlimited. That's nice. And it's very accessible to get the drinks. I've been on cruises where they have limits and also it's kind of hard to get a drink. It's like you Could not one, be easier. You'll see somebody again in 45 minutes. Yes, it's like could not be easier on this. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm fat again, and also, I you still sound sick. I will die. On Lauren that said that the second I got it. I think it's because I I have a deep sinus like headache right now, so I don't know if it's just moving my voice around. Oh, uh, it could just be swollen sinuses. Then. Yeah, you sound wicked nasally. That could be it. Yeah, because I can. It's one of those eye headaches. I got you. Yeah. So, but yeah, I'm just fat. So. I've made it a rule now. It, I'm not blaming it on the wheel. I was fat before the wheel. The wheel has entered me into a new state of of sloth. Well, yeah, dude. It's because you watch 
97 hours of cinema a week. Correct. Do you need a wheel spin, by the way? Uh, no, so I'm still on Die Hard. I went okay. back into my Oscar mode for a little bit. Um, fo- oh, I, I update. We can actually discuss it real quick. I finished Bring It On. Incredible. I finished Bring It On. I caught, I caught, you know, I just caught, I caught fire. <laughs> I just let it rip. Uh, you got to bring it on hankering. Yeah. So I did, I did finish Bring It On. I finished the remaining three and a half Bring It On movies. Damn. Bla- uh, you almost said Blackboard. No, I almost said Blast Off. Um, oh. Damn, Blast Off. That's not my password. Um. <laughs> But I've gotten real movie sit on my my couch probably is an indent by now and it's a new couch. It's the best. So with that, I've made a new rule with my treadmill. I'm also gonna start running. I've been eating healthy all week. I actually feel great. Hell yeah. Like that is not I haven't felt just good. I've taken nice clean dumps. That hasn't happened in years. Um <laughs> nice and healthy. Yeah, nice healthy dumps. Um I'm eating clean. That's the main part. I got to fix my diet too. We were on a, uh, we were on, ev- we had every plate and we were on a four person meal. There's only three in my house. I just ate two. So, <laughs> and usually there were leftovers from the girls cause they eat like rabbits. So was, I'm really, I'm, I'm plowing like two and a half of the four every plate meals. That was a problem. Um, you're just like, yeah, this is it. This is the stuff. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's a good flatbread zucchini pizza. It's like, yeah, okay. Um, so I'm off that. I'm just doing my own. I'm making my own lunches now. Bag salad. Yeah. What a game changer. Salad in a bag it goes crazy. I get the like, not the family size one, but the big one that's like two servings. Yeah. And what I did this week, I got four of the big bag salads. I got a rotisserie chicken. I shredded mm-hmm. it up, put it in a cup. Every day I just brought some rotisserie chicken, made a bag salad, ate it out of the bag. I'm full. It's healthy. Bam. 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 Uh, I'm also back on Slop Bowl. Shout out. Slop shout Bowl out, goes crazy. Shout out Slop Bowl. Lauren hates my Slop Bowls, but then she goes, that smells really good. I go, yeah, I'm not making, like, garbage. I'm not going to lie. I forgot that you do Slop Bowls, and I genuinely thought you were eating cereal. No, I'm eating Slop Bowl right now. Uh this slop bowl is ground chicken. Uh, I got some couscous I had left over from before. I got some mm-hmm. red bell peppers, some mushrooms, some zucchinis, some onion. Mm-hmm. That was the move this week. Uh, made a that big pot. A I did make too much. I did forget I was flying out on Thursday, so I have like a whole nother <laughs> meal in my in my fridge now. But uh, I'm back on slop bowl, so I'm eating clean. I'm getting rid of no more cream, no more breakfast. Um. No more like bad breakfast. I had a yogurt this morning because I was like, I'm running on fumes. I was going to ask if that was a real life statement. What? No breakfast? I don't. The thing is. You seem like a breakfast guy. No, see, the issue is I I don't need breakfast ever. But my work does make delicious breakfast sandwiches in the calf. And (laughs) at all times just has tater tots at the ready for like a dollar. Like a dollar. Like a dollar twenty five. And like. I'm going in for my coffee, and it's like, fuck, those tater tots look good. <laughs> so now I'm going no tot. <laughs> no tot, no brekkie, Sammy. Uh, no more cream in my sad, coffee. That's a sad life. Not really, though, because I don't need them anyway. I don't need yeah, them. but, like, it's tater tots. That though. being said, when I watch movies from now on, I will have to be walking. I think that that is a that's my new fair... Movie. Yeah. Yeah, I I like that. Yeah, because like I mean, I'm I'm still gonna watch my movie. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can stop the wheel. All right, um, and then I'm gonna try to start running again. I was gonna go on a run yesterday because like my body feels good now. I feel good. So like yesterday, I got home with like motivation to run, and then I went, huh? I haven't ran in two years. I'm on a flight. I was like, I'm going to feel fine tomorrow. I know the day after I'm going to be in severe pain. And I went, I'd rather not be in severe pain when I'm on an airplane for seven hours. 
So I, I made a business that. decision, and I did not go on a run <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> Is that what we're calling it now? A business decision? Yeah, I made a business decision. No run. Um, uh, Back to the cruise, though. I, I embraced it. I just went, I'm fucking eating, baby. Yeah, baby. I'm eating. You only go on vacation yeah. so many times. And I drank, and boy, did I drink some fucking milkshakes. Alcoholic milkshakes were like 12% of my intake. Probably more. Hell yeah. Probably more. It was a Most lot of more. it was a lot of pina coladas no, no, dude, with you Kahlua. Hit, what was it? Twelve cones. Or I'm 11? mad at myself about the cones. So in our group chat, we made we made a in the plunge group chat we made a we set the line a gambling line at twelve and a half cones soft serve soft serve ice cream cones throughout the <laughs> week, and I hit twelve midday on the last day, last full day, mm-hmm. and then I got fucking belligerent like, before dinner well so we sat we we had this mojito bar that we loved but it was usually busy mm-hmm. and we went one also, night just a crazy thing as a mojito the bar. mojito bar went crazy i had every single mojito at the on the menu every single one of them that's 10 out of 10 we love that and uh so we're at the mojito bar and just no one's there we went there like an hour before dinner because we were just killing time And we were like, let's go to the bar. It'll probably be our last time going to that bar. Go to the bar. Not a soul there except the bartender. Everyone's probably all drank out, though. They're either drank out or they're out getting sun for the last day. We were sunned out, so we went, cool, drinks, more drinks. (laughs) We go in. I just get loaded. I think I have six mojitos before dinner. (laughs) That's fucking crazy. Yeah, in like the 45 minutes before dinner. My parents show up where I'm like five in already. They're like, what the fuck? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who is this guy? Yeah. So I got I got hammered, and then we got busy, and I forgot to get the 13th cone. I had all intentions of the world in hitting the over. Didn't you also have like 15 scallops? I did have like, I had. I think I had 12 scallops at dinner, yeah. That was just the appetizer, <laughs> yeah. too. But that that also doesn't help. It doesn't Scalps help. And ice cream it sounds like a I had a lot dinner. of seafood that night for dinner. So yeah, <laughs> no, I, I it was, I did have a lot of scallops. They were very rich. So yeah, yeah. So I didn't hit the over. That's okay. You know what else I didn't do? I didn't go to fucking Hog Island, dude. That's what I was saying. I got beef with Norwegian for that. Go on. <laughs> No, so I didn't see you were taking a bite from your slot bowl. No, it's just it's it's upsetting to me because I wanted you to swim with the hogs. I wanted myself to swim with the hogs, my brother. So me and Lauren got the excursion. She's a simple girl, all right. She doesn't want to swim with dolphins. She doesn't want to st- swim with stingrays. She doesn't want to swim with turtles. She wanted to swim with the hogs. Okay. As and you I do went. I went. Yes, honey. I went, yes, honey. We can swim with the hogs. Bought her the swim with pigs excursion. They take you. To, they take you from wherever you, wherever you're, uh, the island we go to. They take you on a boat to this small island <laughs> in the middle of the Caribbean, <laughs> where they just have the hogs. <laughs> Hog <laughs> Island. We were gonna go swim with the hogs on Hog Island. I even, I even wore my shirt that day that said "Sorry, I'm late." I was cranking my hog. Dude, you're hogged up. I was so hogged up, and we're there eating breakfast because our thing was early. We had to be on shore at like eight for our boat to Hog Island. We're up there at like seven, and they're like, "Yeah, we're uh, the water's a little rocky right now. Stay tuned," because that one. That island we weren't docked at. We had to tender in. So I don't know if you're a cruise guide. When a tender in is, you take a, you take this like boat. Fr- they anchor like a mile offshore from the island, and then mm-hmm. you take a boat from the cruise to the island. Like a smaller. How big is said boat? Like a three hundred person boat. Like a carrier boat. <laughs> that seems silly. Yeah. So you take a boat to there. And the waters were too, like, treacherous. 
and it we they just canceled the island. That's so they dumb. canceled the trip to the island. So now we're up wicked early, fully ready for our days, hogged out, ready to hog. And they say, No hog swimming for you. Nah. And that was just really nah, upsetting. Couldn't be me. And honestly, I was I clowned on swimming with the pigs a lot for the months leading into the cruise. I was going to say, I heard about it no less than probably 10 times. I thought it was really dumb because originally they, they dupe you. Their marketing team at whatever this Caribbean, this Caribbean, (laughs) this Caribbean tourist hog company is. They're good at marketing. They use little cute, adorable teacup pigs in the bluest waters you've ever seen in their photos. (laughs) You're not swimming with teacup pigs. You are swimming with full on hogs. And uh, they can kill you. So when I told Lauren that, she lost a little bit of the excitement. But then as it came closer, we we're like, yeah, all right, hogs is hogs is nice. Hog Island is nice. Hog Island is nice. Um, confirmed. And then we never got we never got to go to Hog Island, which I was I was really bummed because our other excursion was kind of a dud. So I was really banking on Hog Island to save save the day, you know. And it didn't. Yeah. It didn't even have the chance. Didn't even have a fighting chance to save the day. <laughs> went hogless. It's just unfortunate. You really just went. But you know who didn't go hogless? The hogs. Uh, me. You went. What you have hog? I did not go hogless. Well, you got some hog. I I cranked my hog. Oh, okay. Yeah, cruises are not. <laughs> I've I've never been on a cruise with 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 my bubba. I was excited. You know, you go in, you're like, yeah, vacation. We're going to do it. Do you know what's not sexy is, one, being in a room in between, not next to your parents, but sandwiched in between both sets of parents. Can you hear what goes on in other rooms? I don't know. I don't think our parents were very active. (laughs) So... Maybe not what I was asking. Oh, but okay. Thank you. Anyways, D- day one, my mom comes up to me and she goes, "Cause we all have balcony rooms. We had like balcony suites, and per- at request, you can take down the little walls in between, so that to make like one big balcony, if you have like two conjoined rooms, or in our case, three. And my mom, with ex- <coughs> bless you, my thank mom you. with excitement was like, "We should all take the walls down," and I went. No. <laughs> no, Why we shouldn't. Yeah. I was like, I'm on vacation. No. She went, what? Why? I was like, do you want me to answer? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I found being full of scallops, booze, and ice cream, you're never just kind of really, really to, ready to go. I need to go on a less gluttonous vacation for, for love. You know, I think you you need to go back to Fernando's cabin. Yo, fuck Fernando's cabin. I don't know. Man. I hated. Pretty... I hated Fernando's cabin. Bro, that was a sick reference. That was a good uh, callback. But yeah, cruise was good. Do you know what the best part of the cruise was, Hunt? What? I think you do. Uh, so oh, in the yeah. casino, me, your boy, was down. I don't know five hundred, six hundred dollars. It was quite a few hundos. It was about five to six hundred dollars. Now Hunter calls me, and I brought it to lose. I brought seven hundred to well, lose. I didn't call you. You didn't have the Wi-Fi. I texted you. Oh, I what a! Imp- also, I just had texting all week. Yes, it was crazy. Um, it was. I thought it was gonna. I thought the jig was the the. It was gonna be up. The jig is up. I thought the jig was gonna be up day one. So my my plan that I got on the cruise, I had 150 minutes of Wi-Fi. That I you pretty much go into this. They have an app on the cruise that is you connect. You know, like on south on a flight, you connect to their in-flight Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. I and mean, it's not you're not on Wi-Fi, but that's how you can get to their movies and stuff and all that. Yep. They have an app with the schedule that's updated, and like they had a messaging client on it that we could use with the other people on the boat. But the internet thing, you like you clock in to start your internet time. 
when I wasn't clocked in, I was still receiving all iMessages. And then I was getting all my notifications. I couldn't access any of my notifications for any apps that like require internet. But I was getting the notification when they happened. So like I could see that I got a Snapchat. I couldn't go open it or see it. But I know I got one. So then I could like strategically turn on my Wi-Fi when I knew I had X amount of like notifications. If there was a notification I needed. And just check them all at once. But at no point did my texting ever turn off. I think because I was to use their app, you connect to their Wi-Fi and then you're just always connected to their Wi-Fi. Just not on the internet. But I think yep. that I think that like foot in the door like kept my, my phone active enough to receive and send stuff out at the top lever. Top level. Top lever. So that was sick. I just had texting all week. That's <laughs> up. Which is funny because like I would say I'm just day one. I was like, all right, guys, I'll see you. <laughs> see you in a week. And then I was like, yeah, you know what? You're, I would just contribute to conversations they were having. And everyone was like, I thought you were like in transatlantic water. I am. Or so you think. So back to the casino. One, fell in love with uh, three-card poker. My favorite casino game now. Incredible. Don't know the odds. Might be a sucker's game. Don't care. Never, so never much tell fun. Me the odds. Yeah. That being said, it was a very big reason why I was down $600. Uh, <laughs> That's okay. So you, The Hunt, probably day five, yeah. I think, you Venmo me $30, and you say... Put it all on red. And I go. <laughs> I think I sent you the money before I even you did. said. Yeah. You said, put it all on red. I went, word. So I walk up. I put it all on red. Red. I go, I send you back $60. I go, there you go. And you send it immediately back. <laughs> you go. <laughs> Put it all on red. <laughs> so I said, run it back. Yeah. And I go, okay. And at this point, Big Mike has joined me. He goes, oh, he's so stupid. <laughs> Roulette, not a a smart game to be investing all of your money in. So, I'm at the machine still. I go, okay, $60. Red. Thing spins. Red. No, no, no. It wasn't 60. It was 30. No, no, no. 30 was the original, and then you said, put it all on red. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It hit once. I'm 60. Yeah, I'm following. I'm following. Yep. I take it out. I go, it won again. You go, keep the 60 on. And I go, are you sure? And you go, yep. Put it on red. And then, poof, red. <laughs> Hits. You're up to $180. I cash out. Big Mike's going crazy. He's like, oh. Cause Big Mike's not a huge gambler, so he's he's seeing this. He's like, that's crazy. <laughs> Three reds in a row. I walk away with my cash out. I'm texting you. I go, 180 bucks. What do you want to do? And you go, you, you say originally, you're like, nice. Good win. So I walk away. I'm about to head to the cashier's desk. And then you go, Go back. I go. I say I'm no, going I to get. A how far away from your the casino is your room? And I said I'm going to get a Reuben right now. <laughs> and you said put it on red. <laughs> you said let that sixty dollars ride. So I said, Big Mike, adios. I'm going back to put Ruben it on get red. Back to work. So I get back to the table in the two spins where I was away. Black, black. I put the 180 in, and then I just put $60 on red. And what follows is nine straight reds. Or not, not eight straight reds from that point on. <laughs> With the $60 on the entire time. <laughs> and at this point, you've now gone, I have to go back to work. So keep me updated. And what you came back to was a chain of text of me going, bet placed, red, bet placed, red, bet placed, red. Holy fuck. 
What the fuck? Bet placed red. Oh my god. Bet placed red. Holy fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> Yeah, at some point I was like, I'm not joking. I want to reiterate this is <laughs> I was I'm not gonna lie, I was kinda shook up by that. <laughs> Cause I thought you were fibbing for a second. Well, so the thing was I'm sitting here I'm at the point where I think at like four eighty, when you when you're up to four eighty, I'm laughing maniacally. Hysterical. Like yeah. I'm dying laugh because it's not my money. I don't care. <laughs> You've directed me. 60 on red. I'm dying. There's three people. It's one of the, it wasn't, it was one of the virtue, like the, the com- computer ish ones where like there's multiple stations around like a la- big boob lady on the, mm-hmm. the video. The video of the get the dealer falling out of the chair. No, actually, yes, I have. Um, I'm, I'm, there's people here and I'm dying. La- I'm laughing maniacally and just <laughs> red. <laughs> And I'm sitting here going, it surely cannot keep hitting. <laughs> it can't possibly keep hitting. <laughs> and uh, it got up to 600, and then you finally lost one. <laughs> so yeah. you, we cashed out. Your $30 cashed out for 540 It was sick. Yeah, okay. And then you kept, You, I think you sent me another 100 the next day, and you said, Make me- I sent you a hundred back of what I had already won. Yes, and you said make me money. <laughs> and then I went, "Hey, do you trust me?" And he went, "Obviously." I said, "I see a few slot Let machines me- that I think are juiced up and ready to pay right now." Yeah, and you, you went, <laughs> "You went word." And then six minutes later, I went hit the jackpot. We got three ninety now. <laughs> <laughs> So at one point in time on the trip, you were up nine hundred dollars from a thirty dollars starting point, and I was still down seven hundred dollars. <laughs> it was one of my favorite things that I think I've ever been a part of. It was the you just I was your shaman. You were. You were my shepherd through this journey of self discovery. <laughs> also, it's so fun gambling with not your own money. <laughs> you know, it's fun not gambling my own money too. Yeah, it was, it was just return on investment. Yeah, it was an everyone wins situation. I was having fun with no guilt. You were, <laughs> uh, but yeah. So that was the most electric part of the whole cruise. I got back to my room that night. My dad was like, "How'd you do?" And I was like, "I just won hundred hunter six hundred dollars." He went, "What? No!" And I went, "Yeah, eight straight reds hit." <laughs> my favorite part about this entire endeavor is. You came back two days later, and I was at work telling my technicians about this because it had happened like a couple days prior. And pretty much what happened was everyone was like, Yeah, all right, bullshit. And then, well, yeah, you said I sent my buddy $30 and he turned it into 600 betting red. It doesn't sound real. (laughs) No, it doesn't. It sounds like a huge lie. Yeah. And, the thing that made me laugh was your dad, unprompted and unbeknownst to me, was shopping that day. <laughs> At your store. <laughs> the first thing out of his mouth, what do you do with all your winnings? <laughs> I was like, this is awesome. Yeah, say that again a little louder for the people in the yeah. back. <laughs> and then the the two women who were working with me. Made me laugh because I was like, they're like, you told him to do that. I was like, I didn't know yeah. he was coming in. Yeah. It's incredible. It's the best. <laughs> it's so good. We you, love ha- it. you made it a just, lot of money. I did. I did, in fact, make a lot of money. But yeah, that was a cruise. Had a good time. Had a lovely time with my lovely woman. As you do. Yep. Uh, Big Mike got a fedora. We called him Miguel Grande all week. That was a highlight. Hell um, yeah, he did. Yep. He um he talked. He was on. We, he got it on Island One, and the guy was selling it for forty, and he walked away with it for twenty. So he was bragging about it all day that he talked the guy down. And we're at the pool Oops. later. Miguel Grande is in the pool, La Pasquina, and La he's, Pasquina. he's wearing his fedora. He's chilling with a drink in his hand. Also, Big Mike's the best because he doesn't change. He has the drink package. You can get literally whatever you want. He's still slamming Bud Lights. Uh- <laughs> That's the most Big Mike thing yeah. I've ever heard. 
Um, he's drinking fourteen dollars a bit of Bud Light a day. <laughs> uh, he's he's sip- actually their newest sponsor. Yeah, he, he's, he's, he's sipping his Bud Light shirtless at the pool, and there's this big fat guy in the pool swimming, also wearing the same exact fedora. And Big Mike goes, "Hey, he was this he was this old fat Spanish guy. He wanted no part of Miguel Grande." Absolutely none. He was content swimming, talking to himself. Big Mike goes, hey, nice hat. <laughs> As he does. And then Big Mike obviously goes, what'd they get you for? The guy goes, uh, 40. He went, ha! <laughs> Fuck. It. The guy looked so mad. He was like, I got it for 20. The guy was like, fucking Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you weirdo. Yeah, it so mad. It was the best. It was, it was so good. Uh, but yeah, that was the cruise. He did get his nipples rubbed at a Senor Frogs. Um, I thought you said we weren't allowed to talk about it. He said that. I couldn't bring it up at work. So. <laughs> this isn't my job. <laughs> it confirmed not work. Yeah. So it was awesome. It was good. Good time. Great time. Um,. Gonna plan the next one soon. Might do an all inclusive, but who knows? I want to do a friend cruise. We're gonna do a friend cruise. I know Kaz is down, so hell yeah, we're gonna get some amigos on the cruise. The boys cruise. The boys in our lovely women (laughs) cruise. Uh, but yeah, so that's it. That was vacation. I fly to California literally tomorrow morning, uh, for a weekend, which a lot of people give me weird looks for. Uh, but I'm just going for Uncle of the Year, so going for Uncle it of the Year. It is a strange thing, by the way. Yeah, I'm flying out tomorrow. Tomorrow's a Thursday. Flying out bright and early, and I fly back home on Monday bright and early. So, yeah, going for uh, my nephew's first birthday party. Nice. He turns one tomorrow. So, turns one in two hours. Oh shit! Uh, we are a little late this week. Uh, that is a intentional programming uh thing because of me going out west uh i could have done next week with mikey but that would have been episode 300 and we want to do a 300 special with everyone so we're gonna have next week's episode probably on thursday probably next thursday so we can get everyone together since i'll be out of town Uh, but we want to do 300 right with the whole gang so that is a Mm -hmm. intentional programming uh delay but Bear with us. 300 next week. Unbelievable. We'll talk more about it what next do you week. Mean? 301 next week. That's true. I might record 301 next week with Mikey and put it out before 300. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, we just came from a, uh, a, sw- a pretty fun event, though. I wanted to talk about that a little bit before we Hosted get out of here. by Dave Swillam. It, uh, he put on a Super Smash Bros. event for... Yeah. He's doing the Boston Marathon, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he's normally part of our plunge team, uh, Penguin Plunge team. He still was this year, uh, but fundraising, he's running the Boston Marathon for Special Olympics uh, Mass. So he has to raise uh, $10,000 <laughs> to run the Boston Marathon. So we put on... I a, still think that that's crazy. It is crazy. Um but he hosted a Super Smash Brothers brawl tournament tonight in Manchester at the movie theater. So we just got back from the movies where we were playing uh, uh, Smash on the big screen. It was very fun. Honestly, I don't want to play Super Smash Bros. any other way now. I know. It's, uh, I'm going to play it's it. It's kind of life-changing. Probably going to play it tomorrow on my Switch and be like, this sucks. <laughs> like, probably. Uh, it did I make it's me- just the energy of the room. Yeah, that's true. Playing it with an audience, very fun. Uh, d- destroyed Will. Could not have killed Will more. I don't think that that is on him, though. I think it's I on him. I started a trend that I think a lot of people enjoyed. Yeah, so you started getting people... I made a good I made a good push. I shouldn't have, because I'm not good. I wanted on, I'm not good at the game. I think I'm perfectly mid. I think I'm wildly average, which apparently was good enough with the right matchups to make a deep playoff run. I think if I didn't get Wii Fit Trainer yeah. on the first random, I could have gone farther. Could have, but you did. You got Wii Fit Trainer. Yeah, you you were on the random train. You started the random train. Um, 
It is it what it is. It took doing it two different times for it to catch on, though. The first yeah. one, people are like, oh, haha, that's funny. And then the second time, people are like, wait, that's kind of nice. Uh, but yeah, so we made that. He did that event. Very fun. We might we might do some Nintendo thing on the live stream next year. Maybe. It depends how, what our what our guest slots are looking like, because it would be fun. It would undeniably be fun. So we we might do something with it, but... We'll see. That was a lot. It was game changing playing on the big TV. Oh, Not even a big TV. My... Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I I sat back. I put my leg up on another <laughs> drawer. I was looking. I was like, "Where'd I go?" <laughs> yeah, Will was there. Also, just doing a chunkies. We had a beer. We had some nachos. Mm-hmm. Played cold some nachos. smash. Is it just me? Or did they come out cold? I don't know. I was mowing. <laughs> I was chowing down. I was chowing. Hungry. I was a hungry boy, but yeah. So shout out Dave. Uh, I the good part is he he we talked to him tonight. This marathon one and done, but also he's yeah. now like determined to hit a high number of fundraising on his own for our, our team <laughs> for our team. So that'll be great. We're gonna have a lot of uh, fun with stuff next year. Uh, next hun- year, I think we're gonna hit our penultimate goal of fifty thousand. Uh, if we don't hit fifty thousand next year, something went. Horribly, wrong. horribly wrong. I think we're, at, I think we're at forty nine, like eight. <laughs> if we don't hit fifty next year, we did not participate. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. You know, like, yeah. I mean, if, if it is, if it happens, it happens. Hey, man, we just gotta quit while we're ahead. I feel like Jack would be furious. All right, Hunt, let's talk a few movies. I've done some wheel work. I haven't done a lot of wheel work because I've been in my, my, my Oscars shit. Can I be honest? I don't care about the Oscars. No? No. I had a great time. You uh, impressively, through the first uh, 22 Oscars, you got one right in the Oscar pool we did. <laughs> it was impressive. <laughs> Like statistically, I should have gotten twenty five percent. Statistically, you should have got yeah. You should have gotten so, like yeah. If you just paid any attention to any amount of Film anything and media, if you just yeah. guessed Oppenheimer for everything it was nominated for, you would have gotten seven off the rip. <laughs> so, <laughs> did it win Best Picture? It did. Yeah. Is that the one that I got? That's act. No, you ended up with four, which made. And you won. Did I beat Ryan? You beat Brian on the Best Picture Award. Who watched most of these movies? Yes. He got three right. Because his issue is he didn't go with, um, you got to read the room. You got to know the Academy. Like the general word on the street for most of these is they'll win. So if you just went by that, he went with like, well, I liked the holdovers. So it gets every award. He gave Napoleon three awards. Napoleon, I remember you noted that. bad movie. I tried to spread it out, but I don't think that that was the correct play. Yeah. We can start with Napoleon, actually, because that one is a funny one. We won't go over all of the... Also, Brian gave Napoleon a four stars, which I don't know if you know Brian's letterbox grading. I've never seen this man give above like a three or a two and a half. Didn't he say Step Brothers was a five, though? That, maybe. <laughs> Um. Yeah, Napoleon was weird. Zero French. They just omitted French. He That's didn't. Weird. He didn't talk in a French accent. They didn't speak any amounts of French. It was just set in France, and they were all English. <laughs> Old English or just like American? No, just French. like American, regular American. <laughs> they just were. Um. That's fucking awesome. What is Brian's profile picture, by the way? It's uh his roommate. In a oh. robe. Uh, there's the best line in cinema in the Napoleon movie is he he looks at the the like leader of the British Navy and he goes he's having a little hissy thing goes you think you're so great because you have boats and then just storms off. It was the best. Was it Napoleon? Yeah, Napoleon said that. That's what's up. Was he an angry little fella? He's a horny little fella. <laughs> I see that. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's see. Napoleon, 2023, three and a half stars. It the looked took... good. That was what I will give it. It looked good. The, the acting Did it was... win costumes? No, it won nothing. <laughs> it was not even considered, really. That's very funny. I don't know how it got the nominations. 
Uh, the French took that fort like the Battle of Helm's Deep. That the first opening battle was sick. They straight stormed with big ladders, straight That's Helm's tough. Deep style. <laughs> Fucking yeah. came in. Uh, I can't fathom that they speak zero French in this movie. What are you doing? Was going to call him the number one, the new, the new number one contender for Mister Bitches, but alas, he's just Napoleon cuck apart. Yeah. Uh, you think you're so great because you have boats? Good line. Awesome. What line. a horny little fella. <laughs> and awesome battles, horrible writing and dialogue. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, little fun guy. Turns out Sylvester Stallone made a documentary this year. So I watched that on my uh, my flight down. <laughs> hey, I keep yawning. Uh, Sly, 2023, three and a half stars. And it's a single sentence. I love this man so much, I would die for him. He's the rock. Uh, I was able to finally finish. I- oh, speaking of the rock, can we talk about Will calling Rob Gronkowski the, the rock? The rock, yeah, we can. That was crazy. That That's it, but yeah. The Ryan twin, I love the rock. I love the rock. Oh, trolls released. So I was able to. I was able to finish. I actually paid ten dollars to watch this on the cruise. Me and Lauren like That's had crazy. one. Ni- we had one night where we not even a night. We were just like dead. We were sunned out, and we just wanted to lay in bed and sit for like an hour. We're like, let's watch Trolls Band together, <laughs> um, which worked for me because I I'm a, I'm just fin- I'm a, I'm Mister Finishing right now. I had watched the first two Trolls, hadn't didn't want to go to theaters for the third one for the wheel f- completion. So. Uh, yeah, Trolls Band Together, the 2023 one. Uh, this movie is horny as hell and also low-key really, really good? Question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> uh, boy bands are so back. Unbelievable references for the parents. That movie ate and left no crumbs. <laughs> Facts. A- score 81.5. Highest three and a half you can get, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> Pretty, they they pretty much just made they made in sync. It was just a movie about in sync. <laughs> but trolls. Yeah, because Justin Timberlake is the the male lead in the whole trolls franchise. So they just said they turned his whole life into he was a in, in a, a boy band that broke up. Uh, it was just an animated documentary about NSYNC. about in sync. Yeah, that was uh, very funny. We skip some of these. Spaceman Adam Sandler's new space. Uh, movie. Do you see that he was the highest grossing actor of last year? That doesn't surprise me. He makes Netflix gives him a bag. Yeah, he made like eighty three million dollars in twenty twenty three. Yeah, uh, pretty much it was just Paul Dano is a space spider who calls Adam Sandler skinny human. Very good. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, everything that begins must end. Skinny human. I think it was generally just really good. The visuals were stunning. The acting was good. The character development was tremendous. It had an awesome story and had a god-esque spider who liked piss tubes and Nutella. What else could you want? Spider hug made my fucking skin crawl. Yeah, there was a scene at the end where the giant spider hugged Adam Sandler and it fucking gave me the heebie-jeebies. Ooh, Dune. Did you get the popcorn bucket that you did not? I did not get the Dune OC. The Dunussi. Dude, I don't even remember watching Love at First Sight this time. <laughs> I'm um, so angry. Um, Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom sucks. Didn't even know that that came out. Sucks. <laughs> Just this movie takes place almost exclusively <laughs> on land. <laughs> Thank God that's over. James Gunn, the fate of the world is in your hands. Yeah, they're resetting the DCEU, so. Again? That's good. Yes, with James Gunn this time. Good. All right, and then what we all came here for, the final three of uh, Bring It On. <laughs> Do you like this? This is a rarity. Two stars. That's crazy. But the heart. <laughs> I didn't notice that at first. I was just, <laughs> I was blown away by the hashtags cheer smack. Yeah, hashtag cheer smack was fucking atrocious. So bad. <laughs> Well, okay, all right. So I fit. I had watched half of Bring It On, Fight to the Finish, but then it got removed from Freebie or wherever I was watching it on. Um, and I was like, "Well, I'm not making an effort to get back to that." So this one is interesting. This one's so racist, 
unbelievably well, racist. Bring it on, fight to the finish. 2009 got two stars. I think it's the most racist one yet. It also has the same plot as Bring It On 3, but in reverse. All right, so Bring It On 3, they take Hayden, Hayden Panettiere, preppy white girl, and they put her in a hood school. Yes. And then hood things commence to preppy white girl, but she she adapts. Okay. It becomes hood? <laughs> kind of, yes. Which That one's also very racist, but this one's more racist. This one, they take uh, this, like, <laughs> they take this Spanish hood cheerleader and she moves in with her new father-in-law, who's a rich white guy in Malibu, and starts going to Malibu schools. But then they bring in her cheer team sucks, so she brings in a bunch of cholos <laughs> <laughs> and her friends, and they start hooding up the school. <laughs> That's what's up. And the the preppy whites have a problem with it. <laughs> That's the plot of this movie. Uh, I'll let you so, continue. When Mr. Bitches showed up in the hood hearing hood wearing wearing that sick ass fedora it must have turned that girl into niagara falls does vin diesel show up uh no this guy shows up in the hood to a outdoor hood dance party in broad daylight wearing a sick ass fedora (laughs) (laughs) uh they called the team of mexican cheerleaders illegal cheer migrants that's fucking insane (laughs) the next line so much crazier (laughs) And then a direct quote being, I don't speak Taco Bell menu is a crazy line. This movie is fucking wild. (laughs) Score 62.84. I don't speak Taco Bell menu is the most jarring line I've ever heard (laughs) in a legitimate movie in my life. What, What did they spend on this movie? Can you look that up real quick? Yeah. Uh... financial information uh they spent no that's not what they spent oh i thought that was nineteen thousand dollars not 19 million full finance oh they don't have it they just have it made 20 million further how much would you guess that they spent on it 40 bucks i don't know it's probably on That's a crazy soundtrack. That's too many songs. Look on the right. I bet. Oh, no, it doesn't. It's usually here. Was it? Oh, it was a direct to video, so it can't have been that much. Uh, I don't know. 28 Straight million? Straight to DVD sequels is a sad sentence. 28 million? No, that's bringing on all or nothing. Yeah, I don't know. Fight to the finish. <laughs> it's a crazy movie. There's yeah. an alarming lack of information on this There movie. is an alarming lack of information. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, damn, this information's out for every movie. <laughs> yeah, it Look says what it, numbers. it says what it made, but not Franchise box office history? That I don't... (laughs) Yeah, all right. So did only one of them go to... (laughs) They don't have any information. There's no information. The rest of them had no budget. Yeah, there's there's no information. It was shot on a Blackberry. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing about this movie. Uh, This movie sucked. Uh, Little did I know it was... (laughs) It was much better than bring it on hashtag worldwide hashtag cheers Mac. This movie was the biggest piece of shit I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh all right. One and a half stars. I'm guessing direct quote, I don't sweat, I glisten. Yeah. <laughs> Who on earth is funding this operation? That's a direct quote from you and me when we're trying to find out about the production <laughs> costs of the sequels. Uh, do the truth have to hire some sort of advanced computer hacker? Do any of these people have parents? All right, so there's this like famous cheer group. That's Bitch on the Left, right? Bitch on the Left is the biggest cheer liberty. Also, this movie adds cheer to every word and just thinks it's okay. So she's a big cheer liberty 
in the chinter, cheer turnet, and uh, the whole cheer. Is it, co- even, is it serious or is it aware of itself? N- this one is not aware of itself. The next one, super aware of itself. Cheer okay. or die. That's why I got the gold heart. Wildly aware of itself. <laughs> this one, very ignorant to itself. So yeah, the, everything has cheer replaced in the words. But so she's the leader of the she's the biggest cheer liberty in the world and she's the biggest part of she's the captain of the biggest cheer squad, the champion cheer squad, four years running or some shit. And the world turns on her. So during one of their performances, they get hacked by a rival cheer gang. They're all wearing like masks and they're like they're unidentified cheer hackers. So it's fucking they're called cheer this. Yeah. Yeah, and they're, would that have been a better name for what they are? So they're called the truth, and they're like, "We're gonna reveal you, Sydney. The world will know." <laughs> it's, it's just but, jigsaw. But they're like hacking jigsaw. into their shit. <laughs> so I was like, "Who's funding this? <laughs> Who's funding this? These are a bunch of fucking cheerleaders." <laughs> um, I also like that these movies are le- somehow put the lens of cheerleading is the most lucrative business you would this be. movie would have you thinking that this cheer this woman makes patrick mahomes money <laughs> yeah uh so yeah i i was wondering if not not a single parent in this film either so i don't know okay i don't know how old uh, this, they're supposed to be this movie feels like it should be watched in 47 parts via 90 second tiktok yeah that's correct and i stand by that one this This movie is atrocious, but I do kind of stand the relationship and love story of Destiny and Blake. You just love love. I love love, man. Destiny and Blake was a nice relationship. It was nice. I can't I can't argue it. Yeah, this is Destiny. She's the cheer captain. This is the bitch who turns on her as evident in the poster. They immediately give away the plot twist. Uh (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, this movie sucked. Hashtag cheer. I saw cheer goddess. That's crazy. She's the cheer goddess. That's right. Um, And then we have Bring It On, Cheer or Die, 2022 hit movie. Which was a horror movie. This is a horror movie. That's right. Same franchise. I want want that emphasized. It is a mainline Bring It On, colon, insert sequel title. Yes. It is part of the Bring It On franchise. It is not. It is not like some alternate. It is bring it on. Right, this is twenty twenty two. Yes, two stars, and the, the just this is crazy. LMFAO. What can you describe to me? What the first scene is? Because if you're so, putting that as sentence one, this so, is like out of the gates. What the fuck? All right. So this movie starts with a flashback to twenty years ago. And they're this high school is in bring it on two. Yeah, right. Um, this high school is in a they're they're in a gym in a cheer competition, and one bitch is jealous of the other. So when she has her in like a pyramid, she lets her fall. She like throws her foot off, and the bitch dies. <laughs> the woman dies. So then the school becomes. Wait, wait, wait. I have a guess. Yeah, she didn't actually die. No, she died. She's dead. Oh, okay. Very dead. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. <laughs> unless there's a sequel. <laughs> As far as I know, through the movie, very dead. Um, I can spoil this one, too. No one's going to watch this. So, <laughs> um, She dies. That high school changes high schools. They go. They move schools. Um, their cheerleading program bans flying, so they're just like ground cheerleaders okay. forever. Um, cursed, whatever. 20 years in the future now. We follow this bitch. She looks like already a goth, forget her name. Goth mommy. Um, she was fine. She had bang yangs, dude. Um, and <laughs> she's leading this shitty cheer squad, and they're mad. They can't fly. And they go, "We're cheerleaders. We need to fly, man." But the, the the principal's like, "Fuck you. You can't fly. No flying allowed. This is a no fly zone." So they go, "I have an idea. They said we can't fly on school property, but I know a gym." We can go fly there. So they go, they take a bus, the cheer squad. And the cheer squad obviously has a black person, a gay person, a popular kid, <laughs> a popular girl. And a nerdy person. And a nerdy, bl- yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, obviously. So everything that I saw for the 14 minutes, I think I watched Bring It On 3 with you. Yeah. 
and every movie uh horror movie like trope yeah so they go to this the old haunted school right and oh, i thought you said it's a gym well, it's a school but they go to the gym because oh, they know school, there's a gym. gym yeah yeah gotcha um so there's a group probably like 10 of them and they go and they just start dropping <laughs> It just. Do, it, do we get back to the review and then? Yeah, let's get up? back to the review. We'll pick it up. So we have the blood pressure reader kill was actually really cool. that part I shocked me. Credit. Okay, they actually had some clever kills, like in like, the in the movie. This bitch was looking around. The, so one of the bitches in the practice, they start their practice right. They get the mat set up in the gym and they start practicing. And one of them uh, tweaks her ankle. So someone goes to the. The nurse's office to the old nurse nurse's office. It's like a shut down, broken, eerie school. They go to the nurse's office to look for an ice pack, and the killer gets a blood pressure reader, and fucking snatches it, puts it around her throat, and then fucking blows it up to fucking kill her. And I was like, "Yo, that's actually really clever." I was like, "That's a jet. That's jet. Just horror movie kill. That's a good, clever kill." Like, All things considered, that's good. I saw that. I was like, "Holy shit!" That's. I didn't think I'd be like, "Wow." <laughs> uh oh my god! Are chains on sale? That was also very. It was anything that made me laugh in this movie. I wrote down. Um, fucking another person gets killed with chains, and they're like, "How many chains are there?" <laughs> That was just fun. I liked it. Uh, you know she's a virgin, right? Like, zero penises? No, that's impossible. She texted me tacos. That was good. The, I, he sent back eggplant. She sent a taco, being like, this oh, is my pussy. Nice. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Did, did the IP for Bring It On expire? Is this actually a part of the same franchise? This movie is crazy bad and wild, but also I think I would watch it again before I watch, like, four of the real bring it on movies i need to know how the situation played out with the principal who raised two serial killer cheerleaders to avenge his sister Ah, uh, so there it is uh the principal the no fly principal her sister was the woman who got killed but uh fucking bang yang's here her mom was the the killer lady so principal principal angry sister raised her twin daughters to become serial killers and the serial killer it's with this bitch um, and her twin sister they joined the cheer team and brought them there so she could kill them all <laughs> because she had a vendetta against this bitch's mom so i just was i wanted to know how the how that was created i needed i want a spin off of the crazy need, yeah yeah uh, we need a jigsaw equivalent. Yeah. Oh, and then so after that, they cut to the future, and the the whole team is well, the survivors, uh, which there, of which there was like four, um, were just cheering the next season. So that's what the final line of me saying. I think I would just retire yeah. from cheerleading if this happened to me, but that's just me. That's where that comes from. Yeah, you don't think that that brings up like traumatic memories? <laughs> like, could it possibly? Yeah. Sixty one point one one. Yeah, I did like it. It's it, it is rewatchable. I won't rewatch it, but it is rewatchable. <laughs> uh, all right. Anything else? That's <laughs> you watch School of Rock twice in a row. Consecutive. That nights. doesn't bother me because that's a great movie. It's so good. School of Rock one. <laughs> Cause it's a long way to the top if you want a rock and roll. The, the only movie I actively watched the entire credits. It's the best. <laughs> Did I you write? put this? Oh, I thought. No, no, no. I remember now. Um, <laughs> uh, Wonka, surprisingly a delight. That was uh, Timothy Chalamet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn it! Ate Loki. Timmy is king. Also had me weeping at the end. <laughs> yeah, uh, I said it before. I'll say it again. Stop, Stop crying, crying yeah, after movies. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, I haven't really watched any movies this week. I watched half of Paddington last night, but the first one. Yeah, I just threw it on as background noise. All right, I sent you a video, by the way. Oh, you sent me a video in the private chat. Word. Brothers, no. This seems bad. <laughs> no, it's not. It's fine. <laughs> 
Why did she get a fucking 19, dude? You're not sharing oh the audio. Oh. Alright, get the fuck out of here, homie. Got a new dealer, new luck. Let's fucking go. Oh no! Bro. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! That's what I was telling you about. He the went hard chair. down. Yeah, dude. Do you, look at the look behind him. The chair exploded. <laughs> it did. He almost banged his head though. The <laughs> fuck is that? Watch it again. I like. It. You have any good talks? No, not tonight. I need to pack still. <laughs> uh -oh. I thought this lady was gonna fall. I was getting ready to enjoy uh, her. Is, is this guy? Oh my god, Whoa. that's sad. Look at those eyes. That's the eyes of fuck. I'm on camera right now. <laughs> that's I'm on camera. Part of my take is live right now, just eating pancakes. <laughs> just eating pancakes, watching basketball. <laughs> when did this start? Four hours ago. Four hours. Damn, meme still has nine pancakes to go. Wait, why are they eating so many pancakes? They did a pancake bet this season. Yeah. Yeah. I watched Ricky Stanicki. It was... Yeah, you told me that I should watch it this. It was mid. Guy kept... There was one... They called... Uh, they, had William, they had William H. Macy. He was like an executive at this company. And it was the best part of the whole movie is they like go to the play-by-play -play of him giving a speech and they goes, no, I see your problem is you're not getting respect because you're air dicking. Look at that. All you're doing is air dicking. And they just, they cut to a highlight reel of him being like, like during like speeches. And it was, it's very funny just seeing William H. Macy just. <laughs> Wait, made, is that Zac Efron? Yeah, it's Zac Efron, fucking Santino, some gay black guy and John Cena. Wait, wait, wait. Go to the IMDb and then show me what else the, the black guy's in. Uh, why is it not showing cast? Crew. No, would it crew. be cast? It would be cast. I don't know his name. It's got to be Jermaine. Uh, uh, no. Is the, that him? The Blackening? He was in Judas no, and no, the no. Black Messiah. Scroll down, scroll down. Keep going. What are you, what are you, what are you looking, looking for? I'm not going to sit. Untitled Steve Pink psychological thriller. <laughs> is, there, is there something I'm supposed to see? No. I. Oh, okay. That photo made him look like... Uh, Someone else? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No. I heard Sorry to Bother You is good, by the way. What is Sorry... Oh, this one? Yeah. He played Salvador. Uh, it has pretty good ratings. There's a guy named Lakeith in it. Lakeith is a crazy name. Lakeith. Lakeith Stanfield. All right, I got to go pack. <laughs> All right, have fun. I will. Uh, guys, we'll see you next week for episode 300. If you want to leave us well, a voicemail. I won't. No, no, no. What do you mean? For next week for 301. That's true. If you want to call us for episode 301. Do it. Sure. Send it What's to. What's the number? Uh, send a video to plungepodcast at outlook.com. <laughs> That's not a phone number, but or a you can question, try to dial anything it really. Send us anything. Plunge podcast at outlook .com. Send us something on Instagram. Send us a video on Instagram. That's the best bet. We'll play it. We'll put it on the air. Episode three hundred and one coming next week. Three hundred we the week after. Almy, I know you're listening. He's We're not welcome. Screen your call. Yeah, he's not coming on. No, he's not coming on. But if he no. sends us anything, we got to screen it. I won't answer. I can't. We can't have any more gagungu mungu. No gagungu or or dungu mungu. All right, guys. We'll see you guys all next week. Bye bye. Gagungu mungu. R.I.P. Gagungu mungu. Or dungu mungu.